Hi students, welcome to Mizo Study. Today we are going to discuss about the Groves process, an important process for the detection of various kind of alcohols. An important process always come in the examination and very important from your competitive point of view, right? So let's discuss about it and obviously we are not going to discuss a detail of it but a little idea about how to go about in your exam. So Groves process first of all involves things like the Lewis acid this is the main reagent which is used Lewis acid which one zinc chloride is used here right it is basically very very helpful in the cleavage of the bond I'll tell you which kind of bond cleavage is involved in this process secondly it involves the formation of carbocations once you get this particular thing that formation of carbocation its importance in this reaction you will get the entire process very quickly right so one thing it's the Lewis acid which is used which is helpful in the cleavage of oxygen right oxygen and the carbon bond so basically the cleavage is of C and O and where does this O come from from the alcohols so basically we deal with this reaction for the detection of maybe it is primary alcohol secondary or tertiary let's try to discuss the reaction now let's try to have a look about it so in this reaction okay first one primary alcohol detection so basically it is a detective method so in this detective method obviously you must be seeing certain changes maybe in color or maybe you know some consistency so those are all the detection processes where we can judge the things by smelling it or by looking at it right maybe a color change is there or some turbidity is there so what happens in this entire Groves process is we have to observe the turbidity always remember the turbidity that we have to observe now tell me which carbocation is the most stable we know that tertiary is most stable right so definitely tertiary being the most stable it will be formed in the process very quickly and once it gets formed since it is the intermediate in the reaction so definitely it will lead to the product formation very quickly in fact quickly than any other alcohol right so the alcohols involving the tertiary carbons tertiary carbocations are formed and finally a quick product is obtained and quick and clear turbidity is seen all the turbidity is not clear but very clearly I can see a turbid atmosphere into my you know uh, whatever like conical flask I've taken or uh, the test tube I've taken the little test tubes we have taken so see here ethyl alcohol is there primary one what happens in this case primary being the least stable it will form get formed very slowly in the presence of HCl right and our main reagent that is Lewis acid which is used to cleave the bond which bond this bond right this was I am talking about now what happened we got the ethyl chloride as the product once this gets formed obviously the turbidity will come up but here in this particular process I needed a lot of heat in order to observe the turbidity so the result of this particular reaction is turbidity appears after heating not just very quickly and not just you know by its own fine okay so that was for primary alcohols since the carbocation was formed very late now moving on to the secondary one what happens secondary a little more stable right so this secondary carbocation if this bond is cleaved it will get formed a little quickly than the primary so the turbidity the possibility of turbidity appearing will be quick that means no heat needed in this particular section so no heat needed and I got my turbidity in just five minutes of the reaction right moving on to the tertiary one and you know what I found from that reaction it gave the turbidity very very quickly in a matter of few seconds in fact microseconds see here I got it right I got a tertiary alcohol and only at the room temperature I'm not even you know heating it a, a little bit also so at the room temperature I just added the reagents and just got the turbidity immediately right 
so that was because of the formation of tertiary carbocation tertiary carbocation this tertiary carbocation was the main culprit behind the immediate turbidity appearance right clear so that is what the uh, groves process says that how to detect the primary secondary and tertiary alcohol tertiary alcohol if it, it is present and not, i don't know in the reaction that whether it is tertiary primary or secondary i will just add my reagents and we'll try to see that how much time how much after how much time will the turbidity appear right and if it appears in just 5 minutes that means it is the alcohol must be not too reactive and not too non reactive right that means secondary if there is immediate turbidity that means i would be judging it by the tertiary alcohol if there is very late in fact no turbidity and i'm heating the reaction mixture to get the turbidity then definitely it is going to be primary alcohol right so that was groves process all about i hope everybody is clear and always remember certain key points about this reaction and how you have to go about in it right have a nice day